how to find love, a soulmate, how to manifest love into your life. Well, Oliver Nino is known as the spiritual activator, helping guide people to finding more abundance, purpose, happiness, and even love. He says, do these three things and you will find what you're looking for. First though, you need to find yourself. Oliver Nino says he wasn't looking for love at the time. He was in the middle of a divorce, in a lot of pain, and was more focused on finding himself. So I did this practice and, you know, within that like week period of doing this, my wife showed up in my reality. I wasn't even looking, she just showed up. He did the following three things. Step one, write it down. You're gonna write down the names of everybody who's ever hurt you. All those people that have hurt you, that's in your heart. And if your heart is full, you're not going to be able to attract love, experience love, share love, give love, because it's full of the pain. So for me, step one, get a pen and paper, write it down. For me, it was like yellow pages, like a few back and forth, and I'm like, gosh, do I have to keep going on? Is this all romantic love? People have hurt you, or just right, anyone, anyone who's hurt I'm you? I'm like, this person who bullied me when I was okay. in seventh grade, mom, You're going way back. dad, like I'm writing all names down. I'm even writing myself, you know, I hurt myself, not kind to myself. Step two. Release it. I do a fire ceremony. Because fire is, is interesting in different cultures where they use it to clear and cleanse energy. I, I typically crumple the paper and I'm about a fireplace or a bowl and I'm like, God, higher power, whatever somebody believes in. I want to release all this energy and I put it in the fire and I just watch it burn. And what it does is it releases the energy. Because when you write it down, it goes from your heart to paper. What people don't understand is forgiveness isn't really what sets you free. It's releasing that energy first, because when you release it, it no longer holds you back. Step three, focus on what you want. The next part that I did was actually write down a list of everything that I ever want in a dream or ideal partner. She's growth oriented, we do our purpose work together, we travel a lot, we like the same things, love kids. Funny enough, my wife now showed up within that week after you know, a few months I looked at my list, I'm like, wow, she checked everything off. So that's the practice that I've shared with people that they've done, they're like, it's crazy how fast it works. So someone's gonna say to you, okay, I'll try it. Yep. How long until I find my soulmate? It works, but the most important thing is when there's an opportunity for you to walk through that door, to put yourself out there, or someone shows up, you've got to answer that call.